will be too stupid and assemble. They will strip this vehicle and, of course, Rigadon. We assemble. Rigadon. May I hand you over to Corporal Mwazo to run us through this stupid and assemble? A special guest of honor, sir. What you are about to watch here is a stripling and the assembling of TYB Rover 002 oh, among the five constructed yeah. TYB Rovers. Now, the battery, the table has been also been dismantled. They already constructed in pieces to enable the crew or the personnel to move the vehicle from point A to point B as easy as we are watching now. The chairs has also been removed. The engine is also in the progress of losing all the boats. The tailboard has been also been loose and removed. The force recruits among the ten are now moving the tailboard to a safer place before mounting back. The fenders also been removed and the move away from the vehicle. The back of the cab also been removed. Some of them are progress for removing the tire. The wheel screen also will soon be removed from the cab. Watching the back bumper about to be removed. The left fender also removed. Now the windscreen will follow. Please be reminded that this vehicle was not imported. It was done here by this man in front of you. The windscreen also has been removed. The only foreign body in this setup is the tire and of course the engine. Every other thing was fabricated here at Chindit Barracks, courtesy of the military skill acquisition team, ably led by the Commandant Major General Victor Okudili Ezugu, with, with a marvelous support from our Mayor Wu Chief Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toko Yusuf Buratai. Please, a round of applause for these people. Appreciate them, appreciate them. He has taken this Nigerian way to yet another level as part of his vision. The process of removing the engine from the cab and back axle are on the process of dismounting. The TYB Rover 002 has been fixed from the crash, from the iron, here in the Nigerian Army by the MSA team, except the engine, tires and wheel, gearbox, back axle, spring wheel screen, among others. Now the car will soon be moved away. Unbelievable. The engine. Unbelievable. The car is moving. Unbelievable. Now the car has been moved. Unbelievable. The engine and the gearbox. Please, shall we continue to be clapping for this man? This is made in Nigeria. In fact, made in Zaria. Made in Depot. Not Zaria. Made in Depot Nigerian Army. City located in Zaria. Here in the empty yard of Depot Nigerian Army. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, His Eminence, all members here present, this is not a Nollywood show. This is not a Nollywood show. We should all appreciate this excellence. Please put your hands together for our brothers and sisters for having gone this far in just less than six months. Please, a round of applause. Keep appreciating them. Keep appreciating them. Thank you. The engine and gearbox are now moved. The chassis. We are separated from the back axle. Only four of them will now move the back axle with tires to another place. The front tires now are on the process of separating from the chassis. Oh, madame et messieurs, nous regardons ce qui se passe. 
les voitures, la voiture qu'ils sont en train de euh, démanteler, là, c est, c est, c est, c est faire ici. C'est une nouvelle voiture. Fait ici, chassis. au Nigeria. Oh, we can call it the frame. Azaria ici. Vraiment, c'est incroyable. C'est qu'on est en train de regarder. Vraiment applaudissé. C'est incroyable ce qu'on est en train de regarder. Parce qu'on ne savait pas que c'est possible de faire un truc comme ça ici au Nigeria. Now this is a complete dismantling of TYB Rover 002 comprises a team of Captain A.T. Ibrahim as coordinator Deputy Nigerian Army Military Skill Acquisition Training as an infantry officer and I compromise Abdullah as his assistant ST personnel. He's going now to first civilian consultant Sanusi Adamu, nephew Mohammed Abdulmumin Ibrahim and Amaya Atele from a graduate from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Amadibel and Valtizaria.